Hey, good morning, everyone. Hopefully, uh, you guys can hear me or see me. It looks kind of dark. Just wanted to read a portion of scripture before I go and clock in for work. I uh, just started the book of Ezekiel, and from what I've seen just in chapter one, it just it really looks awesome. But I'm going to read really quick from chapter 1, verses 25 to 28. And there was a voice from the firmament, firmament that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. Firmament, firmament would mean like the sky, the clouds. There's different levels, different levels of heaven. I guess you could say God is in the furthest heaven. The heavens could be applied to the sky, not just one place. The heavens could also be compared to space, the sun, moon, stars. But God's in the furthest heavens. He's beyond that. So right here it says, And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. And above the firmament, that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of sapphire stone and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man upon it above upon it and i saw as the color of amber as the appearance of fire round about within it from the appearance of his loins even upward and from the appearance of his loins even down Word I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had the brightness round about, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. I don't know why, but I just get chills when I read that. Comparing scripture with scripture, there's other places in the Bible. I just may have to do a second video to this where it talks about a rainbow being around the throne of God. Anyway, guys, I, I just wanted to read that really quick. And it is time for me to go. Have a blessed day.